Hey everyone, this is Matt with Karate Depot. I'd like to talk about the Lightning Headgear by Proforce. This is one of their foam dip line and it's notably known for its strong cheek protection. So this is very thick and durable headgear, but one neat thing that happens with this is that it comes with a plastic face shield. So this is unique because it's almost like a windshield in that it's one plastic piece that covers the whole face region. It has strategically placed air holes down around the mouth and on the sides for breathability. But in general, it's not like a cage and it's not like crossbars that come up and down, so it's very consistent. Uh, one strength of this is a uh, flat vision of uh, field of vision, but one weakness is that if it becomes dirty, it can be a little smudged. So, what I'd like to do is show you how to apply this face shield, which is specific to lightning headgear, to an actual piece of lightning headgear. Now, most times we don't sell these together as one or the other, so a heads up for that when you're shopping for them. So, let's just get right into it. Now, when you're using this face shield, it's going to line up flat on the front here this way. And when it's done properly, unlike some other face guards, the plastic on the top will not be flush to the, to the foam at the top of the headgear. Some of them will be so tight that it almost creases into the foam. This is not like that. It's important to pay attention to two patches of holes in the headgear. On the top, if we have our forehead right here, there are two side holes here and two side holes here. Those are going to be critical. As well as on the side, two lower side holes on the ear hole and two more over here. Those are going to be our action holes when we're trying to put this together. So I'm starting off with the chin piece together. And let's always start at the top first. It just makes life a little easier. So unwrap all of your uh, elastic straps, your Velcro straps, because you're going to need them. So let's start at the top. What I'm going to do first is I like to put one hand on the inside and one on the outside, just kind of working as I go. I'm going to feed the strap through the outermost hole, so the hole closest to the ear. I'm going to feed it down into that hole, this way. And then I'm going to reach in and I'm going to pull it tight here, making sure it's down as far as it can be. Then I'm going to sluice it back up into the near hole. So, this, so we're coming back up through the one closer to the middle of the forehead, feeding it back up through this way. Now what I'm going to do is reposition my hands, pull it up nice and tight, and now I'm going to attach that Velcro to that same piece of Velcro in, on the same side of the headgear. So it looks like this. Now, that's one side, and you have the option of actually feeding this strap back up through the plastic. If you do that, ultimately it will be more secure. So while it's a little bit of a pain, I recommend you actually do it. One trick that I like to use is I'll turn the Velcro backward and actually fish it up through that way. So if you don't do that, if you don't do it backwards, then the uh, strap has a tendency to stick to itself. So I'll feed it up through and then turn it back around once I have it up in. And then I'll pull it all the way through, cinch it up nice and tight and lock it and it's ready to go. Now let's take a look at the other side. And that's it. Now those are your tougher ones, those top ones. Let's go to the side ones which tend to be a bit easier. So with the side ones, we're going to pull out our Velcro. Now unlike the top where we want outer to inner, now we're going to go inner to outer. So we're going to use the innermost hole closest to the face and we're going to dip down into it and pull it tight. And then we're going to go back up through the outermost hole, this way, pulling it tight. Now, we're just going to simply put it back towards the center and latch it up. Now, you'll probably notice that you have a whole bunch of extra strap. So what we're going to do there is we're going to tuck it into the square hole in the face guard, and we're going to tuck it back in towards the strap. So all we're left with is this convenient little loop that's out of our way. Now, let's do the other side. And that's it. Now you have a face guard that's completely on the helmet. Uh, you'll notice that on the inside, the, face, the actual helmet is on the inside of the face guard. So what we're going to do to put it on is simply unhook the strap and then slide it over this way. Cinch it up. It fits quite comfortably. The chin is on this piece of rubber that comes with the face mask. Cinch up the chin strap right here. 
And that's it. You should be comfortably ready to go.